Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming with Sal and welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I know I've been gone for a long time again, but hey, there are many other things in my life that are just a higher priority than YouTube. So if I need to put more focus into those other aspects of my life, then so be it, right? But at the same time, I don't plan on letting this channel die anytime soon. And I felt like making a video for you all. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Anyways, we are going to be discussing about Modern Warfare 2 because we recently got a lot of information regarding the multiplayer beta dates, Warzone 2, and Warzone mobile news, as well as what we can expect to see very soon for the franchise in general. And of course, I would like to cover all of this for you all and give my thoughts on it, so if that interests you, sit back and relax, and I hope you guys enjoy today's commentary. By the way, everything that I will be going over can also be found in a blog post that was posted on the official Call of Duty website, and I will link this blog post in the description below. So first off, I do want to go ahead and discuss with you all about Call of Duty next. This is going to be an event that will be taking place on September 15th and is basically described as an era-defining franchise event showcasing the immediate future of Call of Duty. Now the cool thing about this event is we're not just going to be getting a full-on multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2, but there will also be more details related to Warzone 2 and Warzone Mobile that's going to be revealed as well. So in other words, there will be a lot to talk about, which thank god for that because I can't tell you how many times I've recently wanted to start making content again here on the channel, but there just wasn't anything to talk about in such a long time. Anyways, not only is this event going to showcase the future of Call of Duty and showcase the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2, but many different content creators will also be present and will get to play and stream the game early for all of us to see back at home. Now, to be honest, this isn't really surprising since this pretty much happens every single year, but in my opinion, it's great that it is happening because we will get an ample amount of gameplay to watch and form our first impressions around. Plus, this is, I believe, one of the first events for Call of Duty where these content creators get to go in person and experience the game, like I said, in person with everyone around each other versus maybe doing it virtually at home, given the circumstances we were faced with these past couple of years. But yeah, overall, it's just really cool to see that we're going to be basically getting an in-person reveal event for the next upcoming Call of Duty title after such a long time. Now, I know that most of us, including myself, don't just want to sit back and, you know, watch the reveal and watch other players play the game. We want to get in on the actions ourselves, right? Well, we're going to be able to do that soon after the Call of Duty next event when the beta will go live. So as you can see on your screen right now, weekend one of the beta is going to be a PlayStation exclusive weekend, which yeah, it sucks that exclusivity is still a thing here in 2022, but from September 16th to the 17th, you can play the beta if you pre-ordered the game or obtained a beta code and own a PS4 or PS5. Then from September 18th to the 20th, the beta will open up for all of you who own a PlayStation console console but didn't pre-order the game or obtain a beta code. Then moving along to weekend 2, this is where everyone who owns an Xbox or PC will get to play alongside with PlayStation users. And similar to weekend 1, September 22nd to the 23rd, this is for all players who again pre-ordered the game or got their hands on a beta code. And then from September 24th to the 26th, the beta will be open for everyone on all platforms regardless if you pre-ordered the game or have a beta code. By the way, for any of you guys who watched the CDL recently and have have extra beta codes that you received for watching the event and don't mind sharing them, hit me up in the comment section below or over on my Twitter. Now, as far as the multiplayer beta goes for Modern Warfare 2, we don't really have any details on, let's say, like the number of weapons we will get to play with, the number of maps or modes, or anything like that, right? Most likely, we're probably going to be getting all of these details during the Call of Duty next event. However, the only information we do have as of right now is that beta is set to, quote, feature a robust multiplayer experience going beyond the core 6v6 experience with a variety of meticulously designed maps of various sizes and an equally impressive set of modes, progression experiences, and other aspects that will be more thoroughly revealed at Call of Duty next. So in other words, maybe this could mean that the combat pacing feature from Vanguard could be making a return in which players can pretty much choose if they want to, let's say, play 8v8 or maybe even 12v12 on certain maps versus maybe like the traditional 6v6 modes, or it could also be hinting towards the return of modes such as Gunfight, Champion Hill, or even Ground War. Either way, all of these features and modes that we've already seen throughout multiple games in the past are features and modes that I personally liked and would not mind seeing, you know, coming back to Modern Warfare 2. But of course, these are just my assumptions based on what's already been said about the upcoming beta. Now, even though I said that we don't really have any details on the overall content that will be available for players during the beta, we did get one map revealed to us recently that is going to be played 
playable in the multiplayer beta, and that is a map known as Marina Bay Grand Prix. This map is described to be located in the center of an F1 racetrack somewhere in Asia. Overall, my impressions of the map is that I like the fact that it has some color to it and that it takes place in a unique and fun location. Like if I'm being honest, this is the kind of map that I would expect to see in let's say like a Treyarch game before an Infinity War game, or maybe a map that would probably come as a DLC map later on or something along the lines of that. In general, I really, really hope that these maps are going to be enjoyable to play on because when it comes down to the maps that ship with Modern Warfare 2019, I didn't enjoy most of them and that really affected how I felt about the game overall. But anyways, moving along, just like every year, there are also earnable rewards and incentives for playing the beta as well as just pre-ordering the game. Now, I'm not going to go into any details or break down all of these rewards and incentives within this video just because I feel like it's kind of boring to go through all of that. And as far as that information goes, I'm going to go ahead and post screenshots of sections from the blog post regarding this topic. So if you are interested in all that information, feel free to pause the video if you need to read it. And again, the link to the blog post is in the description below as well. Now, before I go ahead and close out the video, I did want to go ahead and end things by just giving my overall thoughts on Modern Warfare 2 and how I feel about Call of Duty as a whole in this moment of time. Again, I know I haven't really been uploading to the channel a lot and disappeared for quite some time, but I have been keeping up with all of the news related to Modern Warfare 2, which includes the campaign gameplay that we got a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of months ago, I should say. I really don't remember when it came out, but I did go ahead and see that gameplay. I have been keeping up with all of the news up until this point, and all I can say is that I am going to be cautiously optimistic. And yes, this is something that a lot of other creators have already said, but I have to agree with them. With the way my experience has been with Vanguard this past year, I truly haven't been playing Call of Duty as much as I used to. I mean, a part of it is because I have been busy in my personal life and within my actual daytime job, but overall, it also has to do with the fact that Vanguard itself just hasn't really offered anything that makes me want to come back and keep playing it, or at least take the time out of my day to play it. In fact, I don't think I've ever gone this long without playing Call of Duty ever. And just to put it into perspective even more, I believe I uninstalled Vanguard around, I think, I think the end of season two or maybe around the beginning of season three and haven't reinstalled the game ever since and again like i said this is because there's just nothing about the game that makes me want to come back none of the content that was added to any of the seasons made me feel excited in any sort of way i don't know vanguard just wasn't a game that i put a lot of time into and i'm not trying to bash on the game or anything but that's just the truth you know at the end of the day this is a call of duty title that i can easily forget like i recently hopped back on black ops cold war before I got back on Vanguard. That right there should tell you something. In the end, I just really hope that Modern Warfare 2 at least keeps my attention throughout its life cycle, especially since it's rumored the game is going to have a two-year life cycle and that we're not going to get another Call of Duty title after Modern Warfare 2 until the year of 2024. And let's just say that if this game ends up becoming as boring or even more boring than Vanguard, then we as Call of Duty players, in my opinion, are screwed. So here's hoping that Modern Warfare 2 will at least be an improvement in comparison to Vanguard, but I'm not going to fully judge this game until I see gameplay of the multiplayer on September 15th, and especially when I get my hands on the multiplayer itself during the beta. Again, if you have an extra beta code and you don't mind giving it away, let me know. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you enjoyed today's commentary, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm definitely going to be working on creating an upload schedule where I can put out more content regularly, even if it's just a few times a month at minimum. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Fingers crossed that I can stick to that. Also, comment down below what you guys think about about Call of Duty next, the potential news that we might get surrounding Warzone 2 as well as Warzone Mobile, and if you're just looking forward to the multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2. Anyways, I'll go ahead and see y'all in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and bye.